Hey guys, Casey Ferris here. Thanks for checking out another video of mine here on YouTube. Today, I'm gonna show you something that I have not showed you yet. And if you didn't know about this and you got into a situation like I'm going to explain in a second, you would rip your hair from your skull and probably fall down in a pool of you and be very upset. But, you know, that's not the case. That's not going to happen because, you know, we talked about this. Here's a super secret sneak peek of an upcoming project that is going on here at Ground Control. And this is all graded. Lots of work put into this. It's all done. Looks beautiful. Now, let's say down the line through no fault of your own or possibly fault of your own. I'm not I'm not really going to make up the situation here for you because... I've found myself in this situation plenty of times, and it'll happen to you. For some reason or another, down the line in future land, you find yourself in a tight spot where you have this whole edit or possibly a couple shots from this edit pulled up in Resolve, and you're faced with the fact that you're going to have to grade this again. You might be cutting a trailer for your film. You might be doing an ad for something. There's all kinds of situations where this might come up. But either way, you find yourself looking at your timeline or part of your timeline going, am I going to have to do all that work all over again? Here's an easy way to copy the grades from a separate project into your new project. If I go over to my edit tab and in the media pool over here, if I right click on my timeline and go up to timelines and down to color trace and hit color trace from timeline, that's going to bring up this nifty little window under my local database, under your username. I just used guest because I just got here, I guess. You can select a timeline from a different project and open it in this fancy color trace window. Now, what will happen is it'll bring up your timeline with all of your different shots here. And the idea is that you can automatically copy over the grades from the same shots of matching source clips between this new project and your old project. I don't usually use it in this mode because I don't usually have the exact same source files. It's usually baked out in a different render for me. So I pretty much never use this part of the window, although it's worth playing around with if you do work with native footage a lot. If I click manual, we'll see both my new timeline and my old timeline laid out here in this window. And the cool thing is, I can select a shot in my top timeline and select the corresponding shot in my bottom timeline. And then I go over here and hit paste. And then if I hit done, look what happens. I switch over to my color. Here I have all my nodes and everything copied over from my old shot. And the cool thing is, as long as the shot is the same length and frame rate and everything, it will even copy over tracked windows and everything comes through. It's pretty freaking convenient. So I'll go back to my color trace window. And the really cool part is you can actually copy and paste these in order in a sequence. And so if these shots are still in a sequence in my new timeline, I can click and then shift click this range of shots and hit paste and it'll copy the color and the tracking and everything for all of my shots. And again, as long as they're in the same order and the same timing and everything, it comes over just fine. So I use this a lot because I color grade interviews and a lot of the interviews, I'll have an edit with an interview that we shot in one location and color grade that and everything. And then a couple weeks later, I'll have to do a similar grade for an interview that was shot with a different person, but in the exact same lighting. And so what I can do with my new project is go to color trace and select my previous project. And I can select say the close up camera and paste that and the wide camera and paste that. And then I'll have a starting point to copy over my different grades throughout the project. So yeah, that's Color Trace. I use that all the time. It's really, really useful. I hope it helps you guys out with whatever projects you're working on. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments below. If you like this, hit like. And for more color grading and DaVinci Resolve tutorials, make sure to subscribe to my channel here on YouTube. My name again is Casey Ferris. I will catch you next time.